It looks almost like a scene from an action movie. Dozens of ballistic missile launching systems inside a gigantic cave. But the video shows Iran's missile program is very real and very big, as the head of the elite Revolutionary Guard's aerospace division says. The missiles in various ranges are mounted on launchers in all bases and are ready to be launched, he told an Iranian state TV reporter and added, that is, if enemies make a mistake. The video was published only days after Iran test-fired a new generation of ballistic missiles Tehran says are capable of reaching targets in Israel possibly breaching U.N. resolutions, the U.S. believes. We've got strong indications that those missile tests uh, did violate uh, U.N. Security Council resolutions that pertain to Iran's ballistic missile activities. But why this saber-rattling so shortly after the nuclear agreement that many believe will help improve relations between Iran and the West? Iranian hardliners and the powerful conservative clergy and in the military say they fear American influence on the country could expand and warn their followers at recent Friday prayers. We will never allow America to enter into our culture, into our economy, or for the great Satan to influence our policy, the Supreme Leader's military advisor said. Anti-American and anti-Israeli rhetoric have increased, with Iran's supreme leader even saying that Israel will not exist in 25 years, a quote now on posters around the capital. But recent polls show a majority of Iranians want better relations with Western countries. Business leaders in Tehran hoping international investment will increase thanks to sanctions relief as a result of the nuclear agreement, which was ratified by Iran's parliament Tuesday by a large majority. Despite the strong messages sent by Iran's armed forces, so far the momentum brought on by the nuclear agreement doesn't appear to be fading. Fred Plaikin, CNN, London.